welcome to the CBU Show. I'm your host, Leah Rausch, and today we have a wonderful show for you. We have an interview with an upstanding member of our school and some fun student interviews, as well as a bit on National Pizza Day. The Penguin Plunge was last week at the waterfront to raise money for the Vermont Special Olympics. Thank you so much to everyone who showed up, and it honestly looked like a blast. Last Friday was National Pizza Day. Sorry we're a little bit late, but the newsroom did an awesome study on pizza flavors, so let's go there now. Hi, I'm JD here with the CBU Show, and a couple weeks ago we sent out a poll for National Pizza Day. Let's look at the results. In the poll, we asked you what your favorite pizza topping was. 66 out of the 160 people said their favorite pizza topping was pepperoni, while 49 said just cheese, and 32 said my personal favorite, bacon. Although, quite alarmingly, 26 people said their favorite was pineapple. In the poll, we also asked you what your favorite pizza place was. 36 people said Felino's, 35 said Domino's, and 25 said Stone's Throw. Now go out and get that pizza. The annual Vermont Congressional Art Competition is open to all high school students in Vermont. The winning artwork from Vermont, along with the winning entries from all participating districts across the country, will be displayed for one year at the U.S. Capitol. If you would like more information, you can get some during C3 on February 20th in room 150. And here's Mr. Fearon with even more information. Um, hi, I'm here with Mr. Fearon who's going to give us some information about the Vermont Congressional Art Competition. Mr. Fearon, can you tell us what they're looking for for the competition? Uh, sure. So we are looking for uh, students' work that is um, very personal, um, showing great skill, and is something maybe not necessarily made in a class, although you could put stuff, but we prefer uh, things that are done outside of the, the classroom for that work. That's cool. Can you tell us something about the prizes that come with winning? Um, so the big prize uh, is that your work is shown in the Capitol down in Washington, D.C. for the entire year. And we have had uh, students from CVU win this a prestigious award before. Um, on a state level, um, we'll have five students chosen from CVU to go forward, and there will be a um, award ceremony with the Congresswoman uh, later in the spring. Winners also get Blick gift cards totaling up to $100. Oh, and that's new this year. That's new. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Fearon, for letting us interview you. And now back to you in the studio. Thank you for talking with us, Mr. Fearon, and be sure to check out the art competition. Now, we have an interview with House Director Anthony Spagnolo. Hi, who am I here with today? Uh, Anthony Spagnolo, Nichols House Director and ninth grade Corps Director. What is your favorite part of your job? Uh, favorite part of this job, and this, I don't want this to sound corny, but it's anything that I get to do with the students, with the kids. Uh, I like doing, whether it's a school like event, whether it's I actually like doing the lunch duty because I get to see a lot of students I wouldn't normally get to see. Um, I don't love holding you all from going to the core wings, uh, but I, I do love just getting a chance to be out into the hallways, getting into the classrooms, and like just seeing people out doing things that they like to do and just not always in my office for a bad reason. What is your least favorite part of your job? I think that part. For sure. I don't, I don't think anybody who is like a school admin or a principal will tell you that they love the part where they have to bring in people for some tough, com tough conversations or, you know, bringing in families for some pretty difficult things. Um, it's part of the job. We have to do it. But I don't think anybody would say that they enjoy that part. No. If you got to be a different house director, which house would you want to be in? Oh, wow. Um, I, being the core director, I get to kind of see and sample all the houses. So I kind of already feel like I am like kind of attached to each house, even though I'm here in Nichols. And I was a teacher in Nichols. I was the wellness teacher in Nichols for like six years. So I, I, it's hard for me to choose a different core than Nichols. Okay. And then you're a pretty big shoe guy. So what's your favorite pair of shoes that you own? Uh, boy, yeah, I am a big shoe guy. Uh, if you've ever been in my office, which you are right now, you would see I have a pretty good collection. Just, and those are just the ones that are here. Um, I'm a big basketball shoe fan. I played basketball for many years and still do. So I'm a big basketball shoe guy and I like Nikes and Jordan. So I have one pair that I think is probably my favorite 
now, which is it's like a Air Jordan Classics, beige, orange, um, kind of goes with any outfit or thing I, I, I wear here. Sorry, fit, as the kids would say. It goes with any fit here. Uh, and then for basketball, there's a pair of uh, T-Max, is what they're called, from a player back when I was growing up. He was my first basketball sneaker. And then he kind of re, re-came out with the ones um, about two years ago. So uh, I like those as well for my basketball pair. Thank you. Thank you, Spags, for your time. And now we have some fun student interviews. <laughs> are we here with Zoe? And what are you listening to? Music. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Next week is Spirit Week. Monday is Pajama Day, Tuesdays it's Decades Day, so you can raid your parents' closets and dress up like the following. 9th graders should dress from the 60s, 10th graders from the 70s, 11th graders from the 80s, and 12th graders from the 90s. On Wednesday, roles are reversed. Students can dress like faculty, and faculty should dress like students. Thursday is Bikers vs. Surfers, and on Friday, wear your class colors. The school store will be hosting a fun raffle every day of Spirit Week, so stop by The Real Deal for a chance to win fun prizes like hoodies and sweatpants. And now, sports. Hello, CBU. This past week, our sports teams have been working crazy hard. On Wednesday, the girls and boys varsity ice hockey teams took on BFA, with the girls coming in with a tough loss of 6-0 and the boys also with a loss of 2-0. But not only that, and despite the two losses, the boys' varsity basketball team pulled through with two wins against Burn Burton and South Burlington. And in girls' varsity basketball, they won both of their games against BFA and Rice. What a solid week. And now we have our sports specialist coming to you from the newsroom to talk about the Super Bowl. Hi, I'm Frankie and welcome back to your CBU Show Special Sports Report, where today we're talking about the Super Bowl. It feels like it was only last Sunday, because it was. It was a tumultuous Super Bowl at the end of a tumultuous season of football, which put the Kansas City Chiefs uh, in their second Super Bowl victory in a row, just ahead of the San Francisco 49ers with a game-winning touchdown right at the end. I like to call them the two most confusingly named teams in the United States, as the Kansas City Chiefs are in fact from Missouri, and the San Francisco 49ers don't even have that many people on their team. However, if you like, you could also call them the San Francisco 49ers and the San Francisco 49ers Taylor's version, due to uh, tight end Travis Kelsey dating the single most famous person in the entire world. Taylor Swift was present at the game, having just gone there from Tokyo, uh, and has received a fair bit of flack for her constant use of private jets to attend various football games throughout the country, which seems excessive. I think you can tone it down a little bit there. However, it was certainly a spectacle of a game taking place in Las Vegas. There was Usher. Usher was there for the halftime show. Post Malone was there drinking Bud Lights. That was pretty cool. Decent ads, sketches made an all right reference to Mr. T. In general, it was a pretty super bowl. 
and I look forward to doing it next year, except I won't be doing it next year. So that's all from me. Back to you in the studio. That's all for sports. Now back to you in the studio. I'm your host, Leah Rash. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.